Hello, today we're going to start in setting up some plumbing for the plumbing section of the Revit course. Uh, so first we want to start off, we're going to go into my systems tab. So here in the middle, this is where all of our plumbing commands are. Uh, so we're going to use pipe. Um, I'm not going to use any placeholders or parallel pipes. Uh, fittings and accessories, we'll use, uh, we'll use fittings and uh, accessories as well. And here's where you can get your plumbing fixtures along with, uh, you know, pulling them up from your family, uh, from your project browser down here. So we're going to start off by clicking on pipes here. We're going to make a copy of the standard type here and create a type for the sanitary waste and also the supply. So we're going to start using the pipe standard type here. I'm going to edit type. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm just going to call this steel. So steel pipe is for the sanitary uh, waste. I'm use steel, and you see down here the pipe segment by default is copper. We can change the pipe segment segment type by going to the routing preferences, steel in our type properties, and just this first field here. <clears throat> so you can click on the down arrow and you scroll down to the bottom, and you'll use um, steel carbon schedule 40 for our sanitary. So I'll say OK. Say OK here. So now we have our steel pipe. Um, we want to change the system type right here for it to be sanitary. And let's see, diameter. So this will change really depending on what type. Uh, the main important thing for this initial setting is your pipe segment type here. And you have your system uh, class scheduled here. So I'm going to say apply. Okay, so next let's create the cold and hot water supply system. So I'm going to duplicate this steel pipe out. So we'll go to type properties, duplicate. I'm going to call this copper. So copper there. Once again, change the routing, prefer routing preferences uh, pipe segment right here. So this one's going to go back to copper K and say OK and OK. All right, and then we have your sanitary here. You want to scroll up and change this to domestic cold water. And we're just going to use a domestic cold water for all of our supply for hot and cold. Next, we're going to copy monitor the plumbing fixtures in from the architecture model. Uh, so what copy monitor does is it basically makes a, um, makes a copy. So you see if I try to click on these toilets right now, it just sinks. It lights up the whole uh, architectural model. Copy monitor essentially brings in a copy from the background model into a editable family or workable family in, in your model. But it's still more or less tied to that background model. Uh, if you copy monitor something in and the architects comes in and moves these, uh, you know, moves the, the toilets or the sinks around, it'll give you a warning to say that, that your models aren't in sync. And you can basically tell Revit to move your copy monitor elements to match your architects. So it's kind of a good way to keep track of, of changes. We're going to go in the Collaborate tab. Copy monitor button is here on the um, about three quarters of the way over on the right. So I'm going to say Copy Monitor, and we're going to say Select Link because we we need to select the architectural link. So I'll click this, and then you just need to click on any you know either a, a toilet or a sink or a wall or a door, just any piece of the architectural model. So I'll click that, and you see my options up here change. So I'm going to go to copy because we're going to copy these. And I'm going to click on multiple so that I can click on, um, I can select most of these toilets and sinks all in one go. So you see if I hold down control, holding down control right now, I have a little plus sign. So that will let me go over here and just click on all of these units. And also with the multiple, you get the, the selection box. So you can use your selection box. Uh, you do need to be careful because you can copy monitor and walls and doors and things. Um, uh, so you know if you use a if you use a window, you want to make sure that you can use your filter command here to turn off things that you don't want. Okay, so I selected all of my plumbing fixtures, and on the second floor, you want to make sure you grab your janitor sink over here as well. So you're gonna have to hit. Um, down here you have a finish for selecting multiple right here beside multiple you click finish and that 
indicates that you're done make your selection but then you also need to wait and click on this green check once everything gets gets copied in now I can hover over these and highlight and it highlights them but you have to go back to your copy monitor tab and say finish can click on these plumbing fixtures and, and they have uh, inputs uh, and outputs for me to work with. Okay, so let's go and do it for the other floor as well. So I'm going to copy monitor, select link, background, copy, multiple, and selecting everything again, being careful not to grab the walls or anything extra. Check my filter just to make sure. And then you say finish your selection. And then go back to the copy monitor tab and say finish. Okay, so now we have the um, fixtures located in our model. Um, next we're going to use, uh, we're going to put a section uh, that we're going to use to draw most of the plumbing work with. Remember I told you that whenever you draw in a section it centers everything you draw on on that section whenever we, we're doing the duct work. Uh, so we're actually going to use that to our advantage here. We're going to place a section in the center here of our chase and we're going to use that to draw all of our pipes. And then we won't accidentally have something you know shifted uh, behind or in front of where you actually would like to draw. Unfortunately, you can't use the align, move, or dimension tool on sections. So we're just going to eyeball it and get it pretty close to the center of our chase here. So I'm going to use a temporary detail line, stretch across here just to get a midpoint. All right, so now I'm going to go to my view tab, or it's up here in your quick access toolbar, create a section. I'm going to draw pull this out. Uh, our plumbing will need to exit the building here. So I'm going to draw this section initially to outside of the building. And I'm also going to face it to the west or the left of the drawing just to match my uh, all the handouts I did are looking, are looking this way. So um, if you want to match that and make sure it's facing left. Like I said you can't you can't really use the move tool on the on the, the section to snap or anything. So I'm just going to use this and I'm just going to click on my section and just nudge it over to be roughly in the center. Then go back and delete our temporary detail lines. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my plan. Pull this down to where I can see the full first floor, and we're going to go a few feet underneath it, underneath the bottom floor, so pull it down. And once I do that, I'm going to go and I'm going to pin my section. We do that because you don't want to accidentally move this one, um, and because you can't go back and re snap it to where it was before, basically, it, you would not be able to use this to draw on the same exact plane as your other fixtures. So we're going to change this to essentially just be our, our plumbing section. So I'm going to go in here and I want to turn off all of the extra stuff. So I'm going to go into visual graphics, so VG. Uh, we don't need air terminals, that's mechanical. We don't need any of the duct work. So I'm going to turn these off. Uh, flex duct, I'm going to get rid of that. Mechanical equipment. Uh, we're going to turn this off for now. Our the water heater we at we will add later. We'll need to see it, so we may either need to turn it on and hide all of the other units, uh, or create another view for that. So I'll say OK. Um, so now you see we have our sinks here, um, urinal, toilets, and they're real blocky. So for plumbing, we want to use fine texture, uh, fine detail level. And that'll allow us to see the pipes width as well. Um, if you're on uh, medium or coarse, then you'll just see the single line pipes. All right, so let's go through here and clean up everything. So it all looks good. Just 
Just go in here and hide some some of these things I don't need to see. And then lastly, I'm going to rename this. Uh, so we're on section three. I'm going to rename this plumbing chase just so we can find it easier later. So plumbing chase. And now here in our uh, sections, it'll be plumbing chase. All right. And once you have that done, you are ready to start modeling the plumbing section.